Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games. Hi, everybody. We are currently playing Dropsy. This is episode two. If you would wish to return to episode one, please click the following link. Now I have to put an annotate. Now I have to remember to put in an annotation. Thank you, Cujo. Jesus. It's for you guys. Uh, there's going to be an annotation <laughs> at the end. <laughs> There's gonna be an annotation at the. Oh, I love this guy. He's I don't like, want to work. he's like, I hate working. So I'm, I'm, sad I'm like, I'm work. sorry, buddy. Let me give you a hug. I love. No, why did you do that? I just want, I want to help you feel better. Wait, no, come. Why back. did you disappear? Come, come back, guy. I'll, I'll give you a hug again. It'll be, it'll work out. It's okay. It's, it's. Oh. It's like, I don't pay you to sit around and complain, but there's a fucking clown out there that's hugging people. I hate him, but I'm paying you to do this, so deal with it. Oh, I like that it's got, the, the bill is on fire. He's burning money. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. Doing like, Why is what, there what's his costume? problem? Oh God, why is everyone so mean to me? I'm just a clown. So he survived the fire thing? Oh, yeah, Dropsy was fine. Oh. Oh, he's... Okay. I don't think people necessarily... Maybe his mom died, I'm not sure, but mm. um, he and his dad certainly survived. I'm sorry about before. No. No, uh, yeah, come hell? back. Oh, he quit. I'm not putting up with this shit, but I got my hug. Yeah, boy. Dead ass crack. <laughs> also, I'm going to pee on this thing. Because... So, Cujo, <laughs> while we're peeing on high fire hydrants and hugging strangers, sure. what do you think makes a good point and click game? No, little mouse. Oh, um, she's so hungry. I don't think having a clear concept that differentiates it from other point and clicks. Like, Don't Escape, for instance. Which released Which today. Release? Hey, go watch it. Get this link. Uh, Damn it! <laughs> um, a lot of point and clicks. Like when I was younger, I played uh, King's Quest. Um, I'm so only, sad I that was, I never played that. I was like five years old, though. I did not know at all what I was doing. I kept dying. That that's a thing. Um, and I remember just being so genuinely confused. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know what to do. There was no um, like guiding force. Not that there should be. Well, yeah, those games tended to not hold your hand. They did exactly. quite the opposite. Yeah, they, it sort of expected you to figure it out. But it just, it was a little frustrating to me. Now, that's not saying that there needs to be... Oh, is this your mom's grave? Yep. Aww. Put a picture of her and her sock. <laughs> Happy Dropsy. Um... Oh, back to the tent. Rapsy, let's go back to the tent. So it's like this. Birthday. So it's your mom's, your dead mom's birthday. Gotcha. Once again, we get it. Um, <laughs> that was always something as a kid that I, I really wanted to get into the game and I really wanted to enjoy it. But when you don't know at all what you're doing mm -hmm. in a world that is very like alluring to you, it is the most heartbreaking thing because you don't want to keep playing if you're just wasting time, you know? Yeah. Um, I would say approaching it with a, a story that you almost have to like approach it with like a fairy tale sort of story. And I say fairy tale in that like nothing that you have to be like light and quick or like, you know, like a not like a genius to understand. Like you need to approach it with a story that's going to be simple enough that works for a point and click. Um, but it's also it's also got the depth for interpretation and such like this. Like this game is be perfect. This is a perfect example of a, a good point and click because everything seems very um, I interpretive. Yeah, you know? I mean I think I, it's fantastic. And it's I, and the, it's, the, the, it's the, the pictures is genius. And I know we talked about that last episode, but like I I, I wanted to put my two cents in. I think that's genius. I think that's phenomenal. It really does fit with you know sort of what, what, what works for a game like this. Yeah, and I, I think, too, the other great thing about it being very open to interpretation and, like, puzzle solving, how the fuck do I... You have to move the dog, I think. You think so? Maybe you're right. I know this is what I need to do, it's just a matter of doing it. Um, what was I gonna say? There we go. Mm. Okay, yeah, you're right. 
Um, yeah. So that's actually really smart on their part. They understand that they don't want situations where you're walking um, through something. You're, they don't want the clipping issues, you know? Yeah. Like, it sort of makes sense here with the dog going right next to you because it's just clear, like, you guys are walking together through the woods, whatever. But, like, when he's clearly on top of something, it, it they went to the lengths of making sure that you don't have those clashing animations. No, and I, I agree. That does make it look a lot better. Um, the only time that really is bad is when... Um, so the tire was stolen by the giant fat bird thing. Good thing we got a chicken mask. I need this for my Harley. Um, the only time that really becomes detrimental, though, is when, you know, you get stuck because you can't get past, you know, some character standing in your way. True. And that's, that's pretty classic for uh, a lot of, like, JRPGs. JRPGs, any other game. I mean, that, that fits with anything. Mama! What the hell? Mama birdie! Oh, you can... <laughs> oh, you look close enough like one of my young. You can go ahead and take this. It's certainly just as fat. Let's just take this off. What the fuck? <laughs> Ew, why is his head all bulbous and, like, Play-Doh? That's creepy. Well, I mean, if you were being picked up by the skin on your head, it'd be pretty stretchy. Fair enough. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, so... Back on the, the note of this game being a bit interpretive, um, the reason why I think that works from a game design perspective is because there are no consequences for failure. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, there's literally only one point of the game where I think you can actually fail, fail, like die. <laughs> yeah. And uh, even that's like, it's not challenging necessarily. Mm -hmm. um, so it allows you to problem solve. Yeah. Um, and you don't have to worry about failure. Like in King's Quest, for example, one of the common problems with that game is if you didn't use an item at some point in the game, or if you didn't get an item, then by the time the, the you know, say the situation came up where you needed to use that item happened, um, it was a no, like, there was no way to fix it. You right. basically had to start the game from ground zero, or if you were lucky enough to have saved early enough in that game, mm -hmm then, yeah. you know, you do that. Um, One thing I do... Dropsy wanna... doesn't have it, though. Yeah, I do think that's really cool. One thing I also want to point out is that each environment, while very vivid in color, has sort of like a similar scheme. Um, hmm. With the colors on Dropsy's outfit, with the, the neon green and the neon yellow, it really does make him pop a lot more, so that your focus is always going to be on Dropsy and his interaction with the characters who are sort of like fitting in the the setting wherever that may be um like right now he's in a desert so there's a lot of warm colors going on mm -hmm. there's a lot of um what well, looks like either sunset or sunrise so it's got that sort of reddish um hue going on over everything um but dropsy is unaffected his makeup is remains that cream white color his, his green is still green, his yellow is still yellow, like, everything about him is still intact. Yeah. Because he's, because at the end of the day, the, I guess the point of this is to make everybody happy. So, you want his, his happiness to be the, the center of... Well, his yeah, attention. his his clown appearance is uh, basically his identity here. Yeah. Oh, I think I can move. So, I guess we work for this guy, and this dude's freaking out about something. Listen to the king, blah, 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 blah. With me, he's swearing. You know, we're just gonna swearing again. You know, meander over this way. Oh god, Ew. it's a giant rat thing wearing a shirt. Teenage mutant ninja turtle. <laughs> Maybe I don't know why that reminds me. Hug, because there's a giant mutant rat in the team in T. Nope, no hug. Yeah. Also, let me just look at that little mouse jerking off. He's breathing heavily. Jeez. Oh, is that what it? Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, wait, why can't I? Is that a controller? Maybe I can't use that right now. Huh. Well, we're gonna go over here. I do always find it uh, nice when you go to do something in a game and the character turns towards the camera and goes, "No, it's not gonna happen." <laughs> Uh, it gives you a little bit more, like, that teeny tiny little second gives you a little bit more of a connection than just having, like, a big X show up, or, like... Well, yeah, and... and or, meh. 
and there's a lot of games, a lot of point and click games where it's like, no, that's crazy. No, that that doesn't make any sense. And that's almost more insulting than just being like, I don't know what you want me to do. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, I guess either way, as long as the message is being delivered of like, well, that's not the right answer. Yeah. Then it's not, you know, the worst thing. But I don't know if we're supposed to do that this early, but I always do anyway, because it can. Okay. You see anything, you push a button. Point and click adventures. Cool. Ding. It's the only way to really know if you're progressing or not, so. But now we can't do that. What? What do I need to do? Hmm. Well, let's see. You picked up a key, right? Or something. Oh! Oh, there's a I thing. did pick up a key, didn't I? Bam! Let's get some sandwiches. More like Twinkies. Mmm, so many Twinkies. Those would be ice cream sandwiches, actually. You think so? Yeah. You could tell because it's got the, the blue, um, blue lines coming down, symbolizing icicles. Um... There's white thing in the middle, and there's, uh, it's like a sandwich thing. That's yeah, my that's thought. Fair. I don't know. I'm just gonna grab a, a bunch of these little guys. Oh, God. <coughs> All right. Excuse me. Now I do something. I swear, man. I should have been able to operate that. Oh, yeah, we picked up a cassette with a devil sign. Uh, it's called a pentagram. Pentagram. Well, ups it's a upside down star. Oh. In a circle. Maybe it is called the pentagram. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, comment, and subscribe if you think that's a pentagram. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I have to talk to him first? Maybe I have to talk to you first. I know. I don't want to look at that. I want to talk to Papa. Nope. Okay. Hmm. All right, well, let's think. So you pulled that rat away from the location of whatever the hell. Is that a crane? Oh, now he's back. Well, I, so I need to move so, this. So drop the um, sandwich again. Uh, you mean drop the sandwich here? Or give the sandwich to the rat, whatever. You mean like right, right here? Sure. I, I don't know. May I don't know. Well, oh, maybe you're right. Let's, oh God! Get out of here! Get out of here! Okay, now, now I think it just needs to be powered or something. I think. I think. Hmm. Okay. Well, well, we'll pause really quick. All right. Pause. Just the... King me. Oh my god, I just had to turn this stupid thing on. Jesus! Alright. Now you need to get another sandwich pull them back over there so you can get access to that. So many sandwiches. Okay. Okay. Sorry, everybody. I It was because this little red box didn't look like it was interactable. Funny enough, when I first played this, that didn't confuse me. And I figured it out right away. Hmm. I'm not a smart man. Oh wait, no, how's it go? I'm not a smart man. The hell? Is that Forrest Gump? Yeah. Jedi. <laughs> Jedi. <laughs> Story time. Uh, so, oh, great. So when, when I first um, told my family that Jen and I were starting to date, the absolute first thing that my older brother did when he met Jen was say, um... What did he say? No. He was like, I'm not a smart man, but I love you, Jenna. <laughs> or something along those lines. It was a, it was a line from, <laughs> from Forrest Gump. It's ridiculous. All, uh, the, what I basically remember was him being like, Jenna, I love you, Jenna. <laughs> like, god damn it. This is my brother. Ridiculous. This is my brother. My family wonders why I have such negative feelings. Yeah. <laughs> well, um... Something. Um, my brother. You might be a little I, far from the microphone. Ugh. Cuddle up, buddy. There you my go. My brother and I, when I was younger, and Wait, we'd be on fit. Hold on. I forgot something important. Yo! Oh, okay, you can continue your story. Um, 
Oh, you can control the mouse now? Yeah, he's my new buddy. Bam! Oh, cool. Um, when we were younger and we'd be going on like f field field trips, family trips, um, we'd bring the camera. And now, for maybe 30% of the time that we had the camera, were we taking pictures or video of where we were vacationing to? You know, like the family picture or like, oh, look at those mountains or whatever. Then the other 70% was me and my brother being in the back seat and I'd be recording him in his ridiculous, like, just goofy moods. And his favorite thing to do was, um, at the time I didn't realize that you could just press the button and have it record. Oh, Papa Dropsy, no! Papa Dropsy got dropsy. Oh, poor form. I'm, I, that wasn't a joke. Too soon. Oh, he's sick. He's proper sick, man. He's been working too hard. Yeah. You should finish your story so we can end the episode. Um, I this was back in the day where I was holding the button down instead of just pressing it and just having it record. So the I, the idea was that my brother would make me laugh so hard that I'd accidentally let go of the button, or when worse comes to worst, he would just slap the camera. So I, the I, I don't know. It was. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was funny. This is what having a face cam does to me. My humor just goes like... It is a little stressful, to be totally honest. But anyway... It's very vulnerable. It is, right? I think, that's why, I think that's why a lot of people like it, and that's why I kind of want to try it out. To be honest, like... Uh, why well, do you want to see this? It's not about us being pretty, because, I mean, I'm not pretty. You're, you're pretty good looking, hey, wait, but... Is this going to get the, the Game Grumps... Or, Game Grumps. Is this going to get the... What is happening with me today? Is this going to get the Game Devs intro? With, like, the... Da, 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 and our portraits come up? Because I, I think there's a distinct difference between the portrait we have on there versus no, this. No, no, Now you okay, have to funny. do it. All right. Well... Damn it. You're not gonna have any idea what I'm talking about, what he's talking about, because it'll already be yeah, updated, will. probably. Or they will. He will. We only have one person if watching this, and it's a male, I guess. If they're not subscribers, then how would they know? They've never seen your history on uh -huh. this this channel. Hey, we're at 147 subscribers at the, t at the time of this recording. You should make that 150 or more. Oh dang! I agree. That See that call to action right there? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I watch a lot of you. Anyway. I... Anyway. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next arc or the next archives. <laughs> we will see you in the next episode. We'll see you in the archives. Have a good day. We'll see you in the episode. See you in the arc. See you in the next archive. See you in the episode. <laughs>